So I'm Catherine Otto. I'm from Seattle, Washington, where I'm a professor of medicine at the University of Washington. And my main areas of interest are echocardiography and abdominal heart disease. And we're here at the American College of Cardiology in New Orleans um, to talk about my book. So at this meeting, we have uh, the second edition of the echocardiography review guide. And that is a book written with Rose Freeman and Becky Schwabler. And, and Becky's a sonographer, and Rose runs our echo lab, so it brings kind of a, the three of us together. And this book provides a very bullet point, short synopsis of the, what you need to know about echocardiography, and then it adds practical hints on how to actually do the echo. And then the really uh, unique feature of this book is that it has review questions at the end of every chapter multiple choice questions and with answers and then the answer by the is main. a detailed explanation of why the correct answer is correct and why the incorrect answers are not correct. So it's really meant to, for people to really solidify their knowledge in basic echocardiography. Right? The, the review guide is a companion book that matches the textbook chapter by chapter and we repeat some of the key information between the two books so that people, it is a standalone book, you don't have to have both but they do complement each other. So then for the advanced uh, clinician who's using echocardiography in, the day, in their daily practice, I have a, a larger book called The Practice of Clinical Echocardiography. And that's a multi-author book in which I ask experts in each field to write a chapter, not just about how you do the echo or, or, or what you get from the echo, but, but how you use it in your clinical practice. So how do the echo find you impact clinical practice? When should you get an echo? And how does this really influence your management? But we wanted to go one step further. So there's a new series of books coming out that we're calling the Companion Series that is four um, smaller books written in the style of review guide, so bulleted points, very concise, um, directed at four different areas of cardiology. And those four books are, there's a book on advanced echocardiography techniques that Linda Gillum and I are editing, which is about you know, 3D echo, tissue Doppler, you know, all the newer techniques and using it in the app lab. We have a book on congenital heart disease that really spans from pediatric to adult that's being co-edited co by Mark Lewin and Karen Stout. And there is a book for the heart failure specialist on um, management of patients with heart failure and how echocardiography plays into that, uh, edited by Martin St. John Sutton and Susan Weigers. So those books are going to provide uh, you know, a real you know, companion series to, to what we're doing. The fourth book in that is um, written by Don Oxhorn, who is, is an anesthesiologist, and it's a book on intraoperative echocardiography. And all four of those books are written multi-author, chapters written by experts, um, but guided toward clinical practice. Some of the really big trends in echo are just that it's becoming used by everybody everywhere. And, and in the cath lab, for example, 3D echo has become the primary method for monitoring and guiding interventional procedures with new transcatheter valves and valve repair procedures, as well as you know um, other standard cath lab procedures. Um, in the world of heart failure, we're using echo to guide who gets implantable defibrillators, how to optimize echo therapy. In the operating room, it's being used to guide surgical procedures. So we're really using it in every aspect of clinical care. Besides books on echocardiography, my real passion in clinical care is valvular heart disease, and that's who I take care of in my clinics, and that's who I see. And so a book with on valvular heart disease, which is one of the Bronwell Companion series, uh, co-edited with Bob Bono, and the third edition, which has been out uh, since 2009, is still very up-to-date and, and, and current, I think, because it was really written by multi-authors, each expert in their field, has great illustrations, lots of references, and I think, you know, with the current interest in valve disease with all the new techniques, that will be a great resource for clinicians.